All right, team, let's go. It's shoulder tap. I'm joined by Ben today from the great state of Texas. Ben, what's happening? God bless Texas, Jack. Um, it's a it's a good day. It's a good day. I'm looking forward to uh, to this segment. Um, I've got a, a really fantastic trading card. I've been looking forward to uh, talking with you about. So we'll we'll definitely uh, spend some time there. But overall, it's been a good Thursday, and uh, you know, live traders are looking good. So um, yeah, we can jump right in. Um, I heard actually I, before we do, I was listening to um, to some of Fast Markets earlier and. Um, you know, the, the cat out of the bag that, you know, we've got a bunch of people on TV taking the series three. No one was bold enough to uh, disclose their test date earlier. I'll, I'll be the one to, uh, to share. I'm taking mine on August go. 27th. So August 27th, uh, we'll have the test results back and, uh, I'm working hard to not fail. I'm a little nervous about the test, but, uh, I've been, been grinding it out, uh, outside of work to, to make sure I'm so ready for it. Let it be known, Ben has thrown down the gauntlet. If he is not here on August 28th, uh, he's at the bottom of a bottle in some Texas roadhouse talking about uh, what a racket it is. But uh, I don't think that's going to happen. I think Ben's going to pass. Um, how are our funded traders doing on this day that until the last half hour or so was up, up, and away? Yeah, pretty strong uh, trend day, and that's going to be a theme that we're we're talking about. Any given day, we've got always got traders that you know are red and are green. Um, you know, it's overall a pretty green day for uh, for the live traders, which is good to see. A um, couple people to to shout out in particular. Um, we've got uh, Tanya trades up twenty two hundred bucks. Um, really nice to see her take a, a big profitable day. Um, Alexis J is. Up uh, forty seven hundred dollars. Uh, her very first day in a live account up forty seven hundred. So uh, really great way to start. I know the day's still the session's still open, so make sure you're uh, walking away with those profits, Alexis. Uh, Karina also, she's someone we're going to talk about in the trading cards. Um, best day in her live account thus far today. So um, another really excellent performance. She's up fifty four hundred. Um, Kang L is up seventy five hundred. Uh, live account. Uh, Dillion is up twenty five hundred, and Pin Sin, uh, pretty quiet morning, but all of a sudden up six grand in uh, Pin Sin's live account. So um, lots of good numbers. Definitely saw some red, and that's um, something I've seen that feedback a lot, and something that you know I am trying to be conscious of. You know, we celebrate uh, big trades, big traders, big PLs, big payouts. You know, day in and day out. If you're someone that you know is struggling trading, don't get FOMO. Don't get discouraged by some of the statistics and big numbers that you're seeing on TV. Uh, the only person you're competing with is is yourself. You know who you were yesterday, and as long as you're you know being better than that person, um, you're you're going to get better and, and become a better trader. So, just a, a quick word of encouragement: if uh, you know seeing ten, fifteen thousand dollar payouts, winning days, and so on, uh, got you down on yourself a little bit. Don't worry about it. You know, um, everyone's at a different spot in their journey. So uh, just a yeah. quick piece yeah. there while we're talking about big numbers. There's someone out there that made $10 million today. There's someone out here that probably lost $10 million today. Doesn't infect you. Manage your risk. Do better. All right. Well, with that, yeah. we have two cards today. You want to start? Do. Uh, I actually, those? yeah, yeah. Just before we do, uh, Mick had talked about a trader that we have, John G. Yesterday, I believe it was his second trading card. You're welcome, anyone's welcome to go back and watch that uh, shoulder tap segment from yesterday. But a quick piece about John G. I was looking at his trading card. Um, he's very selective about days that he's willing to trade as well. He goes um, sometimes several days in a row without trading. That's something that I've uh, expressed a lot of admiration for on this program. Just want to reiterate that you know it's it's really important. I think today's a great highlight as well. If you're not a great trend trader, if you struggle with you know buying new highs or new lows, um, riding out a trend, um, you know it's okay to sit out the that session, that market, or find a different market. Um, you got to be okay with that. You got to know who you are as a trader and be okay with that. John G does an excellent job of that. Um, he goes several days without trading, um, and I, I'm sure that that's a large contributor to his success. He doesn't just show up to the desk every day and uh, and put on trades. So. Uh, shout out to John. And one one quick thing, I was listening to a, a really great um, podcast uh, by someone that I've got a lot of admiration for as a great trend trader as well, uh, Ripster on Twitter, if you're uh, familiar with Ripster. He said, um, 
your system shouldn't just help you make money. It should help you preserve money. So I want everybody to keep that in mind, that quote in mind, as we talk about Karina, who's our uh, first trading card today. This is the one uh, that I'm excited for, Jack. So Karina has... Let's, um, let's take a look. Before shown... we start, I just want to announce that everyone saw it in chat come up. But in two minutes, Harker speaking. So a little Fed speak coming your way. So just be careful. And now let's get to the main event. We got Karina from Suffolk in the United Gotta Kingdom. Watch those, gotta watch those Fed speakers. They pop up like uh, prairie dogs out of nowhere. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Karina. Karina's our, our uh, live trader. First trading card of the day. Um, trading in a 50K live account with us from um, United Kingdom. Uh, and lots of really, really awesome uh, pieces to take out of this trading card and out of the trade reports um, for Karina. Trading gold uh, exclusively, so gold and, and uh, the e-mini gold and, and micro gold contract. Um, love that she's focused on a particular product and uh, she could be described very easily as a trend trader. Um, I went so far as to go back into the best winning days that she had from the trade reports and overlaid those P&Ls basically with uh, the chart for the intraday chart for gold over that period of time. Um, she does best when gold has a nice, strong trend intraday. Um, mm -hmm. So she's able to get on the right side of the market, get on the ride of that trend and sit in it for you know as long as possible and make as much as possible. Um, she's also relatively good at adding to strong positions, um, adding as it's going in her favor. And that's reflected in the average uh, duration per trade. So uh, she's got an average hold time of an hour. Um, an hour and two minutes for the winners and only 12 minutes um, for the losers. So, um, you know, there was one day in particular, I looked at the fills um, that she had gotten, you know, she was actually short a couple of times uh, in gold, ended up uh, flipping to long, that started to work, began adding to that and took, uh, you know, five contracts, uh, 10 points worth of profit in, uh, in gold. So, um, you know, wiping away those small losses that she had taken and really putting up um, some proper profit um, on the on the winning trade. So only 44% winning days, 43% winning trades. But again, having a nice, healthy, um, you know, 1.3 to 1 uh, reward over risk could be a little bit higher. You know, there's always room for improvement um, in trading. That's the, the beauty of this, uh, you know, art form is that you can continue to improve. Um, and there's room for improvement in some of the trend trading. But overall, um, only taking four trades a day, averaging two contracts per trade. Like I said, stacking into those winning trades when they're really going in her favor. Um, looks great. So uh, I think as great as that is, back to that you know that quote from uh, Ripster, she's managing the downside very well. She's not letting getting on the wrong side of a trend or taking the wrong side of a trade a couple of times even destroy her account, let her go to you know the DLL before she has an opportunity to actually capitalize on the trend for the day. So that's something you and I have talked about at nauseum, uh, Jack, yeah. is, is not hitting that DLL um, right away early on so that you still give yourself a shot to capitalize on a market move, a market setup that uh, might be just within your wheelhouse. Um, that can be demoralizing and obviously you lost the money associated with taking the DLL for the day as well. So she does a great, great job of minimizing the downside, put up her best winning day in the live account thus far today. Uh, we sent her, a, a, tried to give her a call, weren't able to get through and sent her a message, you know, saying, hey, let's lock in profits, you know, hitting a, a new record uh, winning day in the live account is always great. Want to see you take that home. So trading with us from the UK, um, hopeful that she's done for the day, uh, checked out, maybe even asleep by this point. But uh, yeah, Karina's doing fantastically. Uh, she's qualified for a payout with today's winning trading day. Um, just keep managing the downside well and let the trend take care of it for you. Um, super pleased with uh, this trading performance and the live account starting out. So yeah, uh, this is great. I gotta you know, make another announcement about my face in general. If you see on my side, I'm looking at a spreadsheet right now. And so, no, I'm not bored. I am interested. Maybe I'll just try it and like smile like an idiot while I'm looking at spreadsheet rows for the rest of this segment, man. Like, okay, Karina, very, very good. Uh, I like the um, ratio of her winning days versus losing days. She does lose, uh, sorry, use all that loss limit in the 50K account. But when she's winning, uh, it's 2.5 to 3.2. 
zero, aka three times that uh, on the days, and it seems to be doing that pretty consistently. Uh, you're right with the trend, holding the trades a good long time. I think these are sort of stats that are sustainable. So um, I am smiling, not in jest here. This is a uh, good trading. And uh, I don't know if I see any payouts yet. Maybe soon it is today, time. Uh, today, as long as uh, she keeps profits on the day greater than $200, today is the uh, winning day that she needs to then qualify for a payout. So um, she just got there, uh, only traded in the account for a total of nine days, um, 10 if you include today. So, um, you know, and, and again, room for improvement. She's uh, taken the daily loss summit a few days that were her losing days. Um, so, you know, it's, it's not as though she uh, is a perfect trader. No such thing exists. But what we want to see is, you know, maximizing your profit potential when you're right um, and minimizing, most importantly, minimizing that downside when you are wrong so that you can continue to not, not just trade for the day, but stay in the account for uh, weeks and months and, and truly take multiple payouts and, and really profit from this incredible opportunity that trading uh, trading prop gives you. So um, yeah, I was definitely smiling at the spreadsheet. You're, you're describing my job, Jack. All I do is uh, all day long is smile and frown mm -hmm. at spreadsheets. That's, uh, that's the risk manager's job. So yeah, um, so is life. Yeah, indeed. Um, so one last shout out. Uh, great work, Karina. Looking forward. We'll keep uh, tabs on her and continue to update um, on the live account performance. But uh, Gold Trader um, and a good one at that. So um, we can move on to the next card if you're ready, Jack. Yeah, let's do it. I see we have Soren. Yep, we've got Soren K up. And uh, for those who, you know, watch Top Step TV uh, religiously, have probably seen Soren's name before. Done a lot of trading cards on Soren. Certainly have featured him um, consistently on uh, total payouts, you know, P&Ls in um, the XFAs. Uh, so Soren has proven to us, a, you know, several times over that he's capable of, of profiting and and uh, in markets, it's it now kind of a, a predicament where you know I think something's wrong most likely. Um, not difficult to put the finger on exactly what that is, um, but you know an average daily P and L of, of minus twelve hundred dollars. Um, you know, that's the average per day across nineteen trading days for someone that has shown us you know repeatedly that they can profit um, you know in in uh, live markets that something is off and I'm not sure exactly what that is. We definitely want to do some outreach, communicate with Soren about that, but um, kind of some uh, parallels in the inverse here from the card that we saw just previously, longer hold times on the losers than on the winners. Um, you know, the uh, winning day and winning trade percentage are pretty symmetrical, but um, only making one third uh, the risk every time you, you uh, have a winning trade. So average, Winning trade is $104. Average losing trade is a loss of $287. Um, you got to have really, really high win rates to uh, make up for that, uh, that drag, so to speak. And this is very much a card where we see, you know, two steps uh, forward and three or four steps back. Um, you know, he's capable of putting up big winning days. The largest uh, profitable day in this account was $5,700. Uh, but at mm -hmm. the same time, and this is kind of the key to tip me off as to what might be the issue here. Um, the worst losing day that we saw from Soren was down 3,700. So um, if you're new to Top Step um, or you know, just looking over our program or happen to come across this on YouTube uh, in real time, the 150K account size at Top Step has a $3,000 daily loss limit. So if your worst day or even your average day in some cases we've seen, um, if your worst day is uh, a greater loss than what the daily loss limit is, that means um, you've likely got some significant slippage um, for $700 beyond that, that uh, daily loss limit. It means you probably had some size on and were trading either at a moment in time that was very volatile or trading an instrument that is uh, inherently volatile, which Soren definitely is in trading the NASDAQ. You know, we have seen really, really radical uh, volatility in uh, all markets in uh, equities and particularly the NASDAQ is sort of the king of, of volatility uh, when you're trading futures. Um, 
you know, you're going to see yeah. really big whipsaws. And if you're putting on decent size um, with those whipsaws, uh, you're not really back to that point of not giving yourself a chance. You know, um, you're really subjecting yourself to potentially hitting the, the loss limit on a single trade, you know, in a matter of seconds even. Um, and that's, you'll see that, Jack, when you're looking at the trade reports. Um, you know, a couple days we've got, you know, losses within a matter of seconds um, taking those losing trades. So, that's really difficult. I know that market conditions have changed. You know, that kick, kick up and volatility um, is definitely a, a newer phenomenon compared to what we saw for, you know, kind of months on end with uh, the VIX down around, you know, uh, 10 to 15, uh, kind of floating around that 10, 10 point mark. But um, when you see it pick up, you've got to adjust. You've got to be willing to be flexible, trade smaller size, trade a different instrument altogether. Um, you've got to make some adjustments. I think that that uh, change has really been impacting Soren's trading. Um, that's just my speculation, kind of what I picked up from from the trading cards. Uh, Jack, what do what do you see when you're looking over this one? Uh, I, I'm seeing more recently a lot of DLL hits that aren't supported by big enough winning days to do that. Um, I, I honestly, I see a few days that are kind of like. I, I wouldn't even call them, and this is not like to be a negative, but I'm just being honest about a couple of these days are like not just gambling, but like poor gambling, right? Um, I, I've said it before. It seems like there's a few of them where it's like, um, looks like just hammering max size if i'm reading if these columns are correct and the total trades i see like the total trades of one and the contracts be like 20 or 30 or something like that so it's like oh you hammered 15 lots let me see if this is maybe he's trading the micros and that's what's screwing up uh nope uh oh you're hammering 15 lots at once in the nq let's do some math yeah 3,000 well, watts limit divided by 15 divided by 20 a tick. Okay, that's 10 points in the NASDAQ. Um, the reason I say that that's bad gambling even is even if you're going to try and YOLO something, you're not giving yourself a chance. It, with a 3K limit, you cannot put on 15 NQ contracts and hope that it goes in your direction. Could it? Yeah, I guess, but like the vast majority of the time, no matter which way you go, it's going to swipe you out. Like you're not even flipping a coin. Yeah, yeah, that's right, Jack. And and you know, it's um, there's there's tools and there's ways to to you know um, be dynamic in your uh, evaluation of markets and in your uh, position sizing and, and those sorts of things. You know, we talk about ATR a lot on the program. That's something I've heard uh, Coach Dakota, Coach Jay talk about. You know, they're, they're even looking at what a what a one minute uh, candle ATR is. You know, and if the you know high high volatility, you can see a one minute candle ATR like 30, 40, 50 points. You know, that's not unreasonable to see in the Nasdaq. And so you're saying that you know you're putting on a 15 lot, um, you could in a matter of you know, truly in seconds, and that's what we're seeing from the trade report, uh, get stopped out of that trade, even if you're right on the direction, you know, over a five minute period of time or 10 or 15. So, um, you know, sizing down is that's that's what you see at the bottom of the card. Sizing down, um, taking fewer trades also, just being more selective, I think is, is a way that we could uh, get ourselves out. But, um, you know, a mental reset, I think, is also necessary because a lot of these winning days are, you know, high volume um, and they're scratch days, you know, taking 50 or 60 or 70 trades and then having, you know, uh, $50 winning day. You know, you, you barely outpace the commissions that you spent. That's a whole lot of mental capital that you've spent, um, you know, and especially if you're coming off of a day that you just had a $3,200 loser, you know, that's, um, it's a little defeating. It can be difficult. You know, trading is definitely a mental game, but you have to have, edge first and foremost like you were talking about with with uh gambling or even bad gambling jack if 
that's a litmus test that I use when I look at, you know, uh, a trader, like would this trader be better off, you know, at the roulette table, um, odds wise, yeah. uh, based on what we're seeing. And if that's the case, you know, one of two things is happening. Either we don't have a system that has legitimate edge and positive expectancy, which is oftentimes the case, or, you know, uh, not having the discipline to stick to that system um, over time, right? Letting the emotions take over, letting fear and greed take over. So one of those two things is taking place. I think it, it is most likely that, you know, uh, kind of the fear and greed are taking over a little bit with Soren. You know, it may just be a minor tweak of looking at, you know, the ATR expanding, having some measure of volatility um, that you're using to gauge markets and then adjusting that position size accordingly. I think that could fix a lot of a lot of the problems with the current trading for Soren. And we wish him the best. You know, Soren, you're welcome to reach out to the risk team, of course, anytime if you want to downsize your daily loss limit, if you want to reduce your contract limit, you know, um, kind of take it out of your own hands, so to speak, as far as the risk parameters go. That's one of the benefits of being in a live account. You can work with the risk team and we can help you scale back when you're trading at your worst and scale up when you're trading at your best. Um, so one of the uh, many benefits of being in a live account and something I'd, I'd recommend at this stage uh, for Soren. So definitely a, a true shoulder tap and uh, we're, we're cheering for Soren. We want to see him get, get back on the right track and trading profitably. And yeah, focus on a couple like smaller winning days and take a payout, man. Yeah, that's a, that's a good point, Jack. He's right on the precipice of qualifying for a payout. Um, so we'd love to see that. That's a huge way to do a mental reset. It's a great way to do a mental reset. Hear that threshold for a payout, focus, make that your sole focus, pay yourself, right? Be kind to yourself, forgive yourself. And now we can go back into, okay, where are we trading our best? How are we trading our best? And be selective and then, then get back on the horse, so to speak. I, I, and I think he might have gotten in trouble too. I noticed that this account began July, uh, so he's trading the NQ. It began July 15th. Okay. So that's pretty much around about a day or two after the high print in the nq um recently and it may be too that the adjustment of, of being bullish and having a pay so long might have been an issue but um yeah. either way you've got to control the risk so that'd be my advice that's of yeah, yeah, go ahead. One other quick quick piece about that. Um, really easy test for yourself. And, and for uh, my estimation, one of the, the best selling points for uh, looking at ATR, if you can go to, let's say, a, a daily chart of the equities and um, you know plot your uh, P&L over time against the daily ATR of uh, an equity index, NASDAQ or the ES, um, and as the volatility goes up, as the ATR goes up, your PL is going down. That means we're not really adjusting to the market conditions changing in the way that we probably need to. Um, and it's a good idea to size back, maybe reevaluate some of the strategies you have, tweak things. Um, trading in the markets profitably, day trading in the markets profitably in particular, over time is a very, very hard prospect. Um, we always want to give folks grace and, and um, you know, understanding, but at the same time, we have high expectations as a prop firm. We want to see you you know, rolling with the punches, so to speak, and getting better and adapting um, in real time. So um, that's my pitch for uh, for ATR uh, usage. One, I will give kudos where kudos is due. I do notice that uh, Monday, a day that will live in infamy, Monday, August 5th, with the, where the VIX spiked to 65. Uh, Soren did not trade that day. And then the next day traded just one contract lost a thousand bucks on it, which is a bit steep but credit where credit's due you size down yeah. when the vix was exploding absolutely um absolutely it's important and, and hey you know we i was uh watching the accounts looking at live boards um you know that day lots of people took it on the chin um so kudos for again back to managing the downside soren didn't do that that day so kudos soren we have full faith in you. We wouldn't have put you in the live account. Um, if we hadn't, we've seen tons of profitable trading. Just need to make some minor adjustments and, and uh, get back in the, in the winning mode. Yeah. And re real quick, before I forget, Ben, um, is there a, like a cap limit on 50K XFAs? People have been asking, or is it all discretionary about the live stuff? 
You mean uh, as like far a, how as much you calling can... those accounts up to live? Yeah. A 50k like profit cap. Is that what you're saying? Well, or is it, like what is the cap? cap? I was just, I, yeah, account balance cap. Yeah, so it's it's not a hard and fast line in the sand. We do um, evaluate every account automatically um, at a you know if you have 50k profit, if you made it in a single day, you're going to automatically um, you know be evaluated by the risk team. In some rare circumstances, we don't call those accounts up to live. You know, we work with the trader maybe um, to remain in the XFA for some period of time or whatever. That you know, it's a case by case basis. It is discretionary, but um, yes, that is the uh, built in cap um, threshold. By which we, you know, go in and have a conversation with the trader at a minimum. All right. Well, there we go on that. Ben, thank you very much. We just got a minute or two here. Coming up next is JD and Hogue with the group coaching. One second. I'm trying to read these questions as they go. We can ask it. We'll get like we'll answer that some other time. But yeah, you can make a I think 50 K in a day, you can make as much as you want in the live account. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll dive into it tomorrow. Cause I don't know if I have individual time now. All right, Ben, thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day. We'll be back right after this with JD and Hope.